All right, call the daytime HSBC today, initiating coverage of the banks. Buy ratings on Goldman, Morgan Stanley, and Bank of America. It's the hold call on JP Morgan that got us thinking. Because hold on JP Morgan, Josh Brown, your stock, the one stock of the big banks that you own and love. What do you think about this call? I mean, I, I, get, I get it. If we're like playing a relative valuation game, there are maybe uh, lower, lower price stocks that you can own in the group. Um, but outside of that, I really don't see the rationale of not wanting to own the best name. It's not like it's trading at, at three times book value and the rest of the space is trading at one. So I would disagree with, with uh, the conclusion of, of the research and I would probably just ignore it just as I have a million other downgrades and neutral calls on this stock for years and years and years and years to come. Jim, you own JPM. Stephanie Link, you own Morgan Stanley and Bank of America. Both of those, Steph, initiated by at HSBC. Yeah, and, and I agree with the call because it's a capital markets recovery call and then investment banking fees are likely to recover as well. And remember, C the CEO, uh, James Gorman of Morgan Stanley, was on CNBC talking about how he thought capital markets bottomed like two months ago. So we haven't seen it yet exactly, but I do think the valuations are very depressed, at least in the capital markets piece, if you think we're at a trough. So that's why I like Morgan Stanley. I also like the asset management business and the investment management business. Both uh, Morgan Stanley and Bank of America have a nice are, diversified are business base. Are the consensus estimates, though, b uh, baking in a full-scale recovery no. for capital markets yet? No. I don't think they are. Not even close. No one's even talking about it. This is like yeah. the first report I've seen that even mentions a trough in capital markets. We could have a trough, but not an improvement. We'll have an improvement. We'll have an improvement with the markets where they are. I, hopefully. Right? I, I, well, uh, but then, I'm, then I'm, here's, another, here's another way this goes. They trot out this arm holdings, and it hits the market like a meteor, and it flops on day one, and then that sets back what everyone else thinks is going to be a recovery in capital markets. Is Instacart going to be such a hot deal that there are going to be five IPOs a week later? The I don't point, know. Well, the point being is the pipelines are really very robust right yeah, now. because nobody and, can go public for well, two years. But that's right, but at least they, but they will eventually if the market ends like here today, today at the end of the year and you're up 15% on the year, that's great for capital markets and activity in general. Speaking do, of. Do we, wait, wait, do, we, do we agree, though, that 2021 will be a high water mark for capital markets activity that we may not return to for years? We're not going to return to it this year. I think it's a next year kind of thing, but I want to buy stocks today based on what I believe for next year, especially with the valuations where so, they are. But then just before we continue the conversation, it's a good reminder since we're talking capital markets. I, I'm sure that's one of the questions that, that our colleague David Faber is going to ask in his exclusive interview today with David Solomon, the Goldman Sachs CEO. Uh, it's going to happen at 4.15 Eastern time because obviously Goldman such a key player uh, in the future of capital markets yes. and whether you're going to get a recovery. So don't miss that interview. They'll talk that and I'm sure uh, everything else that's been swirling around Goldman Sachs too. Speaking of, you sold Jimmy Goldman Sachs about six weeks ago. I did. You remember that earnings report, the second quarter earnings report that actually was kind of ugly. Um, took advantage of the pop that happened after that. I, look, I don't think Goldman Sachs is a, is a terribly damaged franchise, but there's some hair on it right now. And I just wanted to get out of the way. I do think as we go through this September swoon and as I put money back to work, that the financials are, are a place that I would put it back to work. And it may well be Goldman Sachs, but not at this price, not without a little bit more of that hair being shaved off of it. So I'll listen to what David Faber uh, and Mr. Solomon have to say. Uh, you know, the palace intrigue around his uh, CEO leadership doesn't really invite me into the stock. I was going to say, what do you frame. think he's going to say? <laughs> I, like just, plain, you know, plain talk? How about if I just... <laughs> like, what is, like he's going to be like, yeah, about, things are tough right now? How about if I tell you I don't know, but yeah. it'll make good TV. I'll watch. I hope others do as well. Again, 415 Eastern Time, uh, the two Davids, Faber and, and Solomon. You want to give a thought on the banks real quick? We own Morgan Stanley. That's her favorite pick. I mean, echoing a lot of what Stephanie said, capital markets should pick up. I, I expect you got to plan for that by owning it as well. 50% is their wealth management business. And you're avoiding a lot of the, the, the issues the regional banks have had. You know, if you talk about some of the consumer credit issues and some of the delinquencies that may, that may see, you're not going to see that in Morgan Stanley. You're not going to see that so much in Bank of America.